Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, we have a question that keeps coming up um, with the Divi is how to change things. It may look great on a mobile or it may look great on a desktop, but when you change to mobile or tablet view, things don't work out. Or you can change and hide sections on various different things. Let's enable the Visual Builder and I'll demonstrate this. Okay, let's go down and create a new section somewhere. All right here we'll do. I'll add a regular section. I'll make it single column, single row, and I'll just throw a blurb module in there. Okay, and I'm not going to do anything with the title or anything like that. Let's just put an image in. I'll just add an image quickly. It doesn't matter what one, that's fine. And let's put an image in our background here for our section. And again, I've not got anything particular in mind here. So we're just sort of putting this stuff in here. That's fine. And with our little blurb module here, obviously we can't see anything. Let's give it a background color and make our text crazy size or something. So let's go into our module here. I'll give it a background color. Just for argument, I'll just call it purple. There we go. And let's go into our design and make our text huge. There's our title text. We'll make it ultra bold. We'll make it white. And we'll make it phenomenal. I mean, huge, huge. There we go. That's fine. And our regular text, we better make that white as well so we can see it. And again, let's make this text a lot bigger. And it looks like we want a bit of padding. So top and bottom, I'm just going to give it, say, 50 top and bottom. OK, great. Let's just save that. So we've got a section here. It's got a blur module in it and an image background. Looks fine on the desktop. Let's hit the little purple button and take a look at it on the tablet. Actually, that looks fine on the tablet too. But if you decided on the tablet you wanted to change it, so that's all on one line, you could. Let's have a look at it on a phone. See, on the phone, it looks kind of, kind of crazy. Now you've got a few options that you can do here. While I've got it in a phone mode, we can go in to our little module right here. And I can go to the title text size there. And just on the, the telephone size, I can do, go down to title text, H4. We'll go down to title text size. If you roll over the dark writing where it says title text size, you'll notice some icons appear. Hit the one that looks like a little phone. And you can change things on tablet, desktop, and phone. So for the original, it's going to stay the same. And on tablet, it's going to stay the same but if we go back up to it wherever it was but on phone we need to take our text down some so on the phone we can just take our text size down so it becomes the size we want and you can actually change the alignment and do anything you want with it and we'll do the same for the actual body text itself We'll just put it in the middle like that. Now then, if we just save that, when it's on a phone, it's going to look like that. But as soon as we go back to tablet, it's going to revert to how it was. It's that huge title, and right? Same with the desktop. And you can do three different ones for the desktop tablet version. 
but not only that you can have completely different things so let's duplicate this section I'm going to hit the little duplicate button now we should have the same section below let's go in and we'll change the background image on this section there we go so we've got a different image it doesn't look very good but that doesn't matter and let's go into our module and let's change this background color to blue it's actually in the module itself and also let's go ahead and change that image to really doesn't matter okay now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna save that I'm gonna duplicate this again I'm gonna change the image on this third one I'm sure somebody's ahead of me knows what I'm gonna do here but if not let's use that one I will change the background color um, let's make this green I guess and we'll change our little image okay so we got three sections are uh, pretty similar but different backgrounds and and things like that let's go ahead and we'll say we want to display this one on the desktop so we'll go into the section we'll go to advanced and we'll go to visibility and I only want this one on desktop so I'm going to say disable on tablet and phone okay let's go down to our next one and this one will say we only want it to display on tablet so we want to disable on phone and desktop and as you can see we're just looking at desktop and it's sort of paled out the ones that are not going to be visible on desktop so you know which is which and this one we just want to be displayed on the mobile so let's go into our section go to advanced visibility and we just want this one on the phone and as it, as you can see again because we're on desktop view it's grayed it out grayed out the tablet okay so we got this one displaying when we're on a desktop right so let's save our changes and exit the visual builder right I'm using uh, Google Chrome here so I, if I hit F12 it'll show me this and I can view it on different ones so we've got our desktop view here I'm going to hit F12 and with my Chrome inspector I've got a responsive device toggler here if I hit that well there it is on the phone and you can see it's got that green one right there and we need to do our text and padding on that one if we want to do it responsibly let's change this to a tablet I guess that's an iPad now you see we've got the blue background one and the one with a different thing there the other ones can't be seen and then if we just take it off to a desktop we'll have a purple background here and a different image there we go so you can have completely different setups on your sections for each device which is really handy now I hope that answered the question of, of things not displaying on different devices you can set it up you can change the padding the style the font sizes on each different device and every module has one of those uh, uh, responsive toggles on it so like we say we've got a purple one on the desktop we've got a blue one on the tablet and we've got the green one on the phone and like I say you can put a different image that suits the size of the device that you're looking on in the background you can change the font size to make things display better on smaller devices etc etc so I hope that's explained that and it makes sense to you 
If you've enjoyed this, please ring the bell, give it a thumbs up, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.